one popcorn sprinkle and today we're going to be reviewing The Grey. The Grey is an American psychological thriller directed by Joe Carnahan. Carnahan, director of The A-Team, paired up with Liam Neeson once again, who plays the lead, John Otway. The story follows a number of men stranded in Alaska after a plane crash who are forced to survive using little more than their wits as a pack of wolves stalk them amidst mercilessly cold weather. Throughout the film, Otway finds moments of tranquility while having flashbacks of a lost loved one. two parts in this entire movie that I actually felt connected to and both had to do with the running theme of looking inward, being introspective, thinking about life, death, new life, the process of loss and letting go. At the beginning of the film after the plane crash a group of the survivors are huddled around a man who's badly injured and he's in shock and denial and he's saying that something doesn't feel right. Otway tells him he's gonna die and proceeds to walk him through his death. He says look at things, think about who you love. The man says Rosie and carries out his final moments with the love in his heart that he feels for his daughter. Fast forward three quarters of the way into the film, a man falls out of a tree and we know he's going to die when we see the image of a little girl kneeling over him, her hair sweeping across the blood on his face and she says, I love you daddy. A touching moment. However, I was instantly taken out of it when a pack of wolves came and cartoonishly dragged the man's body away. <laughs> I've got a news flash for you, Joe. We're not afraid of wolves anymore. I found this movie to be as dull as the title, and the ending was actually laughable. I would recommend this movie to Eastern European villagers and peasants from the 15th century. Or Insomniacs, works better than a fistful of Ambien. Popcorn out.